Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I apologize. Things have been hectic. Training hasn't been going the best. So I just didn't have the energy to record anything or really upload anything because I've been recording my my lifts and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just kind of like do a backlog of the hardest training week of my entire cycle prepping for this meet. Um, basically, it started started off pretty well like this was like my last week of doing any type of volume um sets like heavy sets of six um and then just like lots of accessory work i didn't bother filming that because my accessories haven't changed i'll put links um in the description box down below of the accessories that i typically like to do um i did like a series on my favorite accessories for each lift and uh i hope that you guys have seen that and if you haven't I think it's pretty helpful because it kind of shows you like what I do other than the main three lifts um, and I think that it is important to always do your accessories you can't neglect them they help a lot and yeah it's yeah it's been training has been going okay since then I was having issues with squat right after a deload which I'll talk about in another video and yeah so yeah, this was my last heavy week before a forced deload because I went on vacation with my family and maybe I'll do a video about that too because I did record a little bit of it but it's just going to be mostly like me do me showing you what I do at in like a resort situation when there's where there's no barbells kind of like the like kind of the workouts that I do in a hotel gym and I find that it's, it was a good break for me. I needed it. I was dealing with the strain in my lower back on my right side and I definitely needed the break and I found out what was really aggravating it which was um, kettlebell windmills. So I kind of had to scratch that completely from my training. So I had to do, I had to incorporate other um, rotational exercises that targeted the obliques and abs because that's like the weakest part of my body. I have been having trouble stabilizing my core, which was probably why after my deload squats weren't feeling the best because I didn't have confidence in the rigidity of my spine. Um, yeah, it's just been a hectic couple of weeks of training. It's been tough. I've been making really significant strides on bench and deadlift, but squat has not been going very well. At this point with squat, if I get a two and a half kilo PR, it'll be amazing. That's really what I'm aiming for at this point because it doesn't seem like I'm gonna get that much more out of my squats this from this meet, but you gotta do what you gotta do.
guys so much for watching. Um, please also check the description box below for the highlighted charity of the week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!